Alright guys, um, this is going to be my best settings video for uh, The Last of Us on a GTX laptop uh, for the latest patch version 1.1.1.0 So two days ago I did a, a video where I did a split screen comparison comparing the previous version of the game versus the latest version of the game and I was quite excited because it looked like the game actually won back a little bit of extra performance but lo and behold I did that uh, I recorded that video just after installing the patch and it looked like the performance was better um, if you if you I'll link that video at the end of this video but if you go and watch that you'll see that the one percent lows especially in this scene in particular are about five to six uh, one, uh, FPS better in terms of the one percent lows but lo and behold, when I loaded up the game again, the performance was exactly the same as the previous patch, and in some cases, even worse. And the sad thing I find about this is, about two months ago, I said it will probably take two or three patches and this game will be perfect on, on GTX and weaker systems. However, this game is performing much worse than it did two months ago. This, was pl this game was playable about two months ago. Now it's... I, like I try to play it and when you get to Pittsburgh the FPS just drops terribly it's when the people ambush the car so anyways just to go through my settings here quickly so uh, let me just say I just want to apologize it looked like there was a performance increase there's not in fact it's the same level of performance if not worse so I'm just gonna go over some settings which I would recommend so let me just the reason I record in this section of the game is because you have high FPS areas and then when you turn around and face this little channel this little valley um, you find incredible incredible FPS drop so as you can see currently we're sitting on 31 and then let me just turn around and then there okay I'm use, using a recording but you can see just by facing a different area you get a 20 FPS increase and then you face this area and then the FPS drops so you get a good gauge of what the game actually performs like because it doesn't matter if your FPS is high if you've got dips in your FPS you want to try to get your FPS higher in these dips and if you can't get your FPS higher in these dips you actually want to cap your FPS to just slightly above this because you are going to get this this game is terribly optimized you are going to get these sections where you uh, the game's going to run into 50 FPS and then next thing you know it's at 30 and it's very jarring so anyways guys that's enough of me talking let's just get to some settings so i think this is on the low preset but i just want to show you so typically a gtx 1650 laptop is paired with a quad core cpu so my laptop is quite indicative of what a, a 1650 uh, will perform like being paired with a quad core cpu there are luckier people there that have that have it paired with a 10 500 h and I think in some cases it might even be paired with the 11400 H but uh, generally you're going to get your GTX 1650 paired with a quad core CPU and this game is very CPU limited so let's just go to graphics um, okay so this as you can see I normally used to use a quality setting I don't even use the quality setting anymore because it, it kills performance so uh, let's actually just go back to sorry let's go back back to display so 1080p is the only uh, resolution unless you got 4k which obviously wouldn't work on this system if you've got 1440p it wouldn't work on the system you probably get like 10 fps so the best uh, resolution in terms of visuals is probably going to be your 1080p uh, v-sync makes absolutely no difference whatsoever and then obviously amd fsr2 I find that quality kills performance a little bit more balanced. It used to look terrible. It actually doesn't look quite as bad as it did when it first, when the game first launched. I used to recommend that you set sharpening via the NVIDIA control panel. But honestly, visually, it makes no difference whatsoever. And in some cases, it actually impacts your performance more than just setting sharpening via, via the game. So just go ahead and change your sharpening in the game. And then, 
by default film grain intensity and lens dirt you might find that it's on 10 so just drag that to zero um, if you increase the form uh, field of view to 10 it can improve performance but I find that every time you restart the game it actually goes ahead and resets this to zero so just leave field of view and then I'm going to just show you like the difference difference in presets and the, that there's actually no real difference in performance so between very low low and optimized um, because medium is just not it's not going to be viable so let's just go to graphics and let's go ahead and set it on very low okay so you can see it's dipping into the 30s our bridge. We're a little and closer. it's not even going up to the 50s Let's keep at it. like earlier so you can see it makes things look a little bit uglier but no real difference in performance overall and then let's go to the low preset can see it's actually it is dipping a little bit There's less here so we're even on the low way. preset the performance is yeah. shocking let's keep at it so what you're going to do is we're going to use the low preset as our baseline i hate the, that that's a fact but it is what it is so you can use this as our baseline okay and then things that to make things look There's a little bit reach. better that won't really impact performance this is what i recommend so you go to graphics, you just leave uh, everything in geometry settings because that impacts your CPU. And guys, I used to recommend, uh, like I said earlier, I used to recommend the quality setting. I actually recommend the, the balance setting. It, uh, you get slightly more FPS and it doesn't really look that much bad, worse. So in the texture department, leave everything except for anastropic filtering. You can bump that up to 16. And then in lighting, you definitely want to put this on quarter resolution just to make things look a little bit better. Um, this used to hit performance in previous patches. In this patch, it doesn't really uh, hit performance as much, but it makes such a huge visual difference. So image-based lighting can switch on. Trust me, it, it makes everything look less stark and it, it, everything does look very nice. Uh, lighting. I mean, okay, and then screen space, ambient occlusion, you can switch it on, and then color tracing, you can switch on. Just adds a bit of depth to your shadows. And then, uh, I think that's pretty much it for settings done. Oh, you can go ahead and you can put on lens flares. Doesn't impact performance, but does make things look a little bit nicer. Guys, um, I must say, I am quite disappointed in this patch. Initially, I, look, I was very excited because when I, when I first loaded up the game, it actually, um, the, the 1% lows are better, the game loaded in 10 minutes, building a, a shader, so I, was, I had a bit of um, beer goggles on, I thought this, this was my beautiful lass, wow, they've done it, wow, this is great, and then when I booted up the game the second time around, the performance still sucked. So, as you can see, by using image-based lighting, it just makes, um, yeah, makes all the shadows and starkness, it takes it away a bit, it just... Everything does look a, a lot better. No real difference in performance, but unfortunately, uh, this game's probably gonna need, need another five or six patches. Give it another six months to a year. I hate saying that, but that's just the truth. Um, Naughty Dog and Iron Galaxy really shit the bed. I don't care who did the optimization, uh, but it falls underneath Naughty Dog. So Naughty Dog, you're a shitty dog. I'm sorry to say. Guys, in terms of performance, yeah, um, it's not unless unless you use these settings. If you try and go higher, you're gonna lose a lot of performance. Um, and these settings will, the settings I'm showing you now, make things look a little bit better, but it still performs pretty much the same as putting your game on lowest. So I highly recommend these settings on if you're on a GTX 1650 laptop with quite core CPU. Um, and yeah, I wish I could tell you something better, but 
I'm actually so disappointed in this game. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. Other than that, guys, have a great day. It's people like you. Cheers.